it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. And today it is time for another empties video. I am so excited. I always love looking at, like, filming these at the beginning, like, the kind of middle of the month-ish, um, just so I can, like, look back and see what I was using that entire month and what I really, really loved enough to use up throughout the month. Um, and these are for February. Um, and like I said last time, I wanted to start doing these monthly so that way they're quicker and there's not that much stuff because I still end up rambling a lot. So, um, yeah, before I continue to ramble now, let's... Okay, so the first two things that I have in here are a shampoo and conditioner, um... I did finish the mat. This is the Head and Shoulders Green Apple shampoo. I did finish the conditioner as well, but when I finished it, it was kind of like really gross and like exploding everywhere. And I tried my best to like clean it up so I could put it in here, but it just wasn't happening. So um, I just left this in here, but I know that I finished the other one as well because everyone finishes conditioner before shampoo. So, um, yeah, I have scalp issues, so this stuff really, really works to help kind of neutralize that, um, and I love the fact that it smells like green apples because who doesn't want their hair to smell like apples? I mean, come on, apples are amazing, so I love this stuff. Next is also a hair product. This is a the Pantene um, Pro V Ultimate 10 Conditioner, 10 in 1. Um, this, I just ran out of this and I went in the garage where we have like a stockpile thing and this was what was in there, so this is what I used. And it worked out really, really well. Honest, I, I liked it. It's a... I'm not very picky with my shampoo and my conditioner, honestly. Um, so, yeah, um, it's meh. The next thing, my mom got me these when my mom and my dad went to Vegas and they stayed at a hotel. And she got, obviously, they stayed at a hotel, Shelby. She got these in the lobby. Um, she got them in two flavors. There was a blueberry one as well, but that accidentally got thrown away. Blah. Merp. Okay, but these are um Bissingers. I think that's how you say it. Gummy pandas. These are pomegranate wheat tea wheat tea. I can't talk today, guys. Sorry. Pomegranate white tea. And these are so they were so good. Oh my god. I'm so sad that they came from the hotel because I was like yesterday, I was like, Mom, can you buy some more of these? She's like, Oh, we got them from the hotel. Merp! No, that's not okay. They were so good. And it's even better because they're all natural. So, she let me eat. I, I eat like, I ate like this whole bag in two days. Because they were amazing. And I ate the blueberry ones too. <laughs> um, next, I have some a peel collagen and vitamin E cleansing tissues. These are the $1 ones that I get from um, Big Lots. If you guys know what that is, it's like a discounted place. Um, and I get these just for the days that I really am feeling lazy and don't want to wash my face. So I don't go through these too fast, but at the same time, a little too fast, if you guys know what I mean. Um, next is a hand cream, and this was part of a set that I got for Christmas from one of my kids' parents. Um, and this one is the Ultra Argan Oil Hand Cream, and um, there were three of them, so you're probably going to be seeing another one of these in a different flavor pretty darn soon. Um, this was amazing. I love these. I think they got them from Trader Joe's. So, and I don't think they were that expensive either. So, next thing came in a sus subscription box. This is the Vitabath, um, blah, 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 
Cucumber and White Tea Body Wash. I really, really enjoyed this. It was really, really nice. I loved the smell of it. Um, I usually don't like cucumbers, but I guess in a body wash, it smells good. Um, and I didn't know what white tea was, but it smells really, really good. Um, and it's a body wash, and it did what it needed to do, and it smelled good. Can't complain. It's an overpriced Birchbox product. So, um, next is another Birchbox product. This is the Wish Body Lotion, and this one I was not that much of a fan of. Yeah, it's in lavender, and I'm not a lavender person. I gave it a shot just because it's such a tiny product, and I was only able, I used it on my arms, um, and I was only able to get, like, two or three uses out of it, thank God, because I hate the smell of lavender. Ugh, I can't, I can't do it. Um, for some people it's really nice and moisturized and like relaxing, but to me it just smells horrible. Um, also going on the lotion train, I finally finished my travel size real rum berry lotion and I'm kind of sad about this, but kind of happy at the same time because it stayed here for so long and it was getting old but at the same time this brings back so many memories um I had two of these throughout all through high school and my guard career and I just left this in my bag and I would always use it during practice or whenever I needed it during school so this bring, brought back some memories and I really hope they bring it back for the summer because I loved this scent so much. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, and next is the Balance Me Eye Cream. This was a sample from Birchbox as well. I loved this stuff. I mean, honestly, I'm not too picky with my eye creams. My only um, like thing with them is as long as if I use them and they don't break me out, that's amazing. My eyes are very, very sensitive. Um, so, yeah, this is natural and organic, and it didn't break me out, so I loved it. I definitely used it up, and it was very, very moisturizing, and I loved it for me. Um, another Birchbox product. I'm happy I'm getting through all these, though. Uh, this is the Perlease, and it's a moisturizer. I loved this stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's, it it didn't really it doesn't really have a scent, but it does smell good. It just it smells pretty good and it moisturized my face so well. I'm very very sad to see this go. And next thing I'm also sad to see go, this is my Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. But I've had this thing for so long and it has lasted me so long that I'm kind of happy at the same time that it's gone because I have other primers to use up. But um, this stuff was amazing while it lasted. So after I go through all my primers and stuff, if I don't get another sample, um, of that somehow I would definitely repurchase it because I love that okay and last second to last actually this was depressing oh my god this was so depressing this is the Bath and Body Works sparkling icicles candle and oh my gosh guys it smells so good <laughs> It smells like you walked into Abercrombie and Fitch or Hollister and just like, it smells like you have one of the models just chilling in your room 24-7 when you're burning this. Like, who doesn't want that? But it smells so good and I'm so sad that it's gone and, um... Very similar to that, what I'm do what I'm using right now is the marshmallow fireside candle, and it's very very similar. Like I said, except it's a little bit sweeter, which is makes it a little bit more girly, which I love. So I'm going through this one very 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 slowly. Like I'm only burning it about 
an hour a day or less because I want this one to last me because I love it and I don't want it to go away. But at the same time, I want it to go away because I'm ready for all the spring scents and they came out with my favorite watermelon lemonade and I've already purchased two of them. No, one. Only one. I've already purchased one and then um, I'm, I asked for like a bunch of them for my birthday, so... But yeah, I love this thing and I'm not going to let it die. So yeah, I'm really, really sad that this is gone, but I love the packaging, so I always save them and keep them because I never know what I'm going to want them for. And lastly, this was a dud for me, okay? I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, this made me very, very sad. Um, I never had a Yankee Candle before and... Up to that point, I've heard nothing but hype about them and how good they are and how much better. <coughs> I opened it and it was just, and how much better they are than Bath and Body Works candles and all of this. And then I used this. Now, first of all, I'm not going to go too crazy about this, okay? Because I'm just going to tell you before I rant about this one okay I did get a second one and I'm burning that one now and it is completely opposite it's like a Bath and Body Works candle okay and it's everything that everyone always talks about and everything like that and I love it I'm just gonna tell you right now I love it so I'm very happy that that one that that one like changed my mind. So I don't know if this one was like a, just a dud or what happened. If you guys have a can a Yankee Candle that did this to you, let me know down below so I'm just not crazy. Um, for one, the scent throw was just not working. Um, the, my mom got this from Bath and Body, or not Bath and Body, Bed Bath and Beyond, and this was the Holiday Cinnamon one, and she bought them just to try them out because we heard so many good things about Yankee Candle. I need to stop opening this because it smells horrible. Horrible. Um, and every, look at all this, look at all of that. That's not supposed to happen. Here's my Bath and Body Works candle. It's all, you can still see through it. And here's this Yankee candle. That's not okay. And the fact that, like, when I opened this one, I can still smell the original smell, and it doesn't smell like smoke at all. And I can't even open this one without, like, <coughs> coughing, like you guys saw. And it's really sad. So... This just being my first impression of Yankee Candle, it made me really, really sad. But, um, like, to the point where my mom almost didn't want me to open the other one and burn the other one. But I was like, Mom, we need to open the other one and burn it because I need to see how it is. I need to make sure that this is just a dud before I say something. Because I don't want to open my mouth about something before I know for sure. So, like I said... This was a dud. I'm letting it go. Letting it go. It made me really depressed, but like I said, the other one that I have burning now, which will be in my next empties, um, is amazing. And it's just like everyone says. So guys, that's all for my empties this month. I did have a lot more stuff than I thought, um, but that's usually what happens. I'm like, oh, I don't have enough for an empties video, and then I start it, and I'm like, whoa, I have a lot more than I need for an empties video. So, um, if you still are liking these videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below, and I hope you guys are enjoying the fact, this was the first full week of videos, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. I... I'm loving being able to post videos every day. It just, it makes me really, really happy. So again, let me know down below if you guys have any um, re video requests or just 
pretty much anything. Just start a conversation down below. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day and that you have an amazing weekend. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I am doing new videos every week day in the month of March. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.